Most people in the Toowoomba region live in a house. Some people live in smaller dwellings such as a unit, apartment or a house on a small lot. Let's call them all units. Council has been reviewing where units should be located, how they should be designed, when they should need planning approval and when applications for approval should be advertised. This is in response to community concerns about the way unit development is currently delivered. At the moment, units are able to be located within most residential areas in Toowoomba and in any residential area in the larger towns throughout the region. It's proposed that units be encouraged close to designated shopping centres, employment areas and parks, as well as the University of Southern Queensland. Let's call these areas nodes. This would allow more people to live close to where they shop, work or study and to enjoy our region's exceptional parkland. You can click on the link at the end of this video to view maps showing all of the proposed nodes. It's very important that units are well designed. It makes them great places to live and good neighbours. It also helps to create neighbourhoods and towns that look great. Unit designs will be required to retain existing trees or incorporate new trees, protect the privacy of people living in the units and their neighbours, achieve a good balance between hard surfaces like bricks and paving and soft surfaces like grass and garden beds, ensure the right number of parking spaces are provided for residents and visitors and be energy efficient. All forms of units will require approval, with two exceptions. Two units, called dual occupancies, could be built without approval if in a node, on a corner, one or two storeys high, the lot is between 450 and 700 square metres in area, outside a neighbourhood character area and all of the design requirements are met. If these conditions aren't met, then an approval will be required. Similarly, a house on a lot less than 450 square metres could be built without approval if all of the design requirements are met. Some applications will need to be advertised so that people can view the plans and let Council know what they think before a decision is made. Those applications include anything on a site outside a node, anything that is more than two storeys high, anything that is in a neighbourhood character area, and residential subdivisions that create lots less than 300 square metres inside a node or less than 500 square metres outside a node. These changes are being proposed to address concerns expressed by the community with the way unit development is currently being delivered within the Toowoomba region. Council wants to know whether you think we've got it right. Comments can be made online, by email or by post until Friday 9 September 2016.